Good day, Kirsten, and possibly Kaylee, and anybody else who decides that they would like to follow along in Kirsten's ukulele class. Um, my niece Kirsten just turned 11, and she has gotten a ukulele for her birthday. And so I'm going to put together a few videos so that she knows how to play. First thing that you have to do when you pick up especially any stringed instrument is to make sure that you're tuned properly. So the tuning of a ukulele is generally G, C, E, A, which is also better known as My dog has fleas. It's a little, a little ditty to help you remember what your ukulele is tuned as. My friend Maria was a little concerned about the poor dog, so we put an ending into it. But he likes them. We didn't want the dog to be sad about his fleas. One good trick when you're tuning any instrument is to try and tune up to the note instead of tuning down. If I bring it down until it's at the right tone, it's possible that in that loosening, the string isn't tight and it's possible that your, that your note will slip. You can tune the ukulele to itself using the fifth fret as a guide. Maybe your ukulele has a little dot on the fifth fret. Maybe it doesn't, or a dot here. Mine does, so the first string and the second string should sound the same when you're holding down the fifth fret. The next one is on the fourth fret. And the third one is on the fifth fret again. But sometimes I found with my first ukulele the intonation wasn't very good. So I would also tune to a couple of different spots. So A on uh, the second fret on the top string goes with this bottom string. The C you can hold down your bottom string in the third fret and check your third your second string. So that's in case you don't have any tuner. You can sing to yourself, my dog has fleas, and you go, my, and then tune your ukulele to itself. Another great way to tune it is with an electronic tuner. This one is a headstock tuner, and it senses the vibrations within the wood. So we're going to get just a little closer look at this headstock tuner. You can see when it turns orange that I'm not quite in tune. I'm a little bit sharp, so I'm going to bring it down lower than the G. And then tune back up to green. Alright, so another way it's possible to tune is using, uh, using GarageBand or I'm sure any other recording kind of program. I'm also sure that there are quite a few um, iPad and uh, whatever these things are called. My iPod's pretty old so I've been struggling to change my software and to download the app. But anyway, maybe Kirsten you can find me a great app for my little iPod here that I can use as a tuner. So, some, to help you out with My Dog Has Fleas, I'm going to show you the chords. The first chord is C, which is quite easy. It's right here. The next chord is a G7, which is your first finger here, one finger here, one finger here. Then it goes back to C. Then there's an F. F is here and here. So Kirsten, here's your homework song.
Take a look to the 